Hello, my name is Mark Aiken, uh, Director of Rodeo Activities and Head Rodeo Coach. This is my ninth year here at Tarleton. Uh, the rodeo team here at Tarleton, we compete in 10 college rodeos, uh, five in the fall, five in the spring, and then college finals in June. Um, if you compare it to other associations, I guess, the college rodeo offers the women uh, to compete in the barrels of goats and the breakaway rope, and, and also they can team rope, and then the guys, they can uh, team rope and do all the three rough dog barebacks out of bull bull riding, and then calf rope uh, and steer wrestling as well. There's nine, or nine events uh, that the college guys can uh, participate in each week. The first record that we can find is in uh, 1947. And then in 1965, they actually created a team. Um, and that's the first time that you can find any competition-wise that, that Tarleton uh, State College actually at that time uh, were represented. And then in 1967, it was the first team that won a national championship and it was a men's team. And then 69, 70, and 71 were the women's. And then there was a big uh, time, I guess, in between there before there was another team that won a national championship and it happened twice in 2005. And then we won it again in 2015. So uh, there's 27 uh, individual national champions over the years. And then there's now there's six, I believe, uh, national team titles. Uh, number one goal, I guess, has been here since before I was here even, was to get a facility that will allow us to practice every single day, uh, whether the weather's good or bad, and that's covering the, the arena out there. Um, obviously, it hasn't happened yet. Uh, we have a great facility, it's just uh, we'd like to get a roof over it so that we can practice in any type of weather. Uh, but that's the main goal, and then all um, every year is to win a national title with both teams. I'm Brittany Bell, the assistant radio coach at Tarleton. I grew up in South Texas on a family ranch. We raised uh, goats, coriander steers, and some lambs. I was living here in Stephenville. I finished up my undergrad and actually rodeoed for Tarleton. I never really saw myself as coaching rodeo, uh, but it's been fun to meet new people, of course, kind of that rodeo lifestyle and uh, watch kids progress and as they kind of grow up through life, that's been pretty cool to see. I expect them to be successful in and out of the arena. I think that's a big part of being in college, um, growing up and kind of taking that next step. Um, a personal goal that I have for the women's team is I would love to see 30 Tarleton women in the short round filling up all three events, 10 in the go tide, 10 in the breakaway, and 10 in the barrel race, and I think that would be pretty cool. The coaching staff has some great ideas that we're actually going to be able to implement. Um, we've talked to some other groups and other people that have given us some insight as well, and it's all about progressing and taking those to the next step and at each and every level, whether they're beginners or advanced, um, everybody will be able to progress and be competitive. My name is Cody Lamb, and I'm a bareback rider at Toronto State University. Uh, yeah, I grew up in Alberta, Canada, um, playing hockey and stuff. I've been rodeoing for quite a few years now, probably about 10. Uh, started riding steers and tried riding bulls for a long time and uh, switched to bareback horses when I was 16. There's so many more opportunities down here to rodeo than there is at home. Um, there's only so many rodeos a guy can go to and from my experience I noticed all the guys that made it on the professional stage seem to come down here to go to college rather than staying up in Canada to go to school. This is my third year at Tarleton. I transferred in from New Mexico Junior College in Hobbs, New Mexico. I spent two years there before coming here. Uh, Tarleton has the best rodeo program in the nation. Um, I always had a goal from the time I was probably 15 or 16 to come to Tarleton just because of the uh, prestige in the rodeo team here. I really like the atmosphere. I like being uh, around like-minded people who are here to win and here to get better every single day. Rodeos like Houston and San Antonio are, uh, are definitely pretty cool. The college final is also a great event. I've been four times. This will be my fifth time here in June in a bareback riding every year. Uh, I spend quite a bit of time working out, getting, uh, getting physically ready. Um, there's a lot of mental stuff to it as well um, between visualizing and uh, just um, being ready on, uh, on game day. Uh, it's a lot of time management, got to make sure I get my assignments done ahead of time, 
and always staying on top of my various assignments, both in school and outside of school. I have to give a lot of credit to my parents for keeping me going when maybe I didn't feel like I could. My name is Bailey Collins. I'm from Lady, Oklahoma, and I'm a senior at Tarleton. I grew up rodeoing. My the first time I ever tied a goat, I was three years old on a little pony named Spike, and I've been doing it ever since. I high school rodeo, junior high rodeo, and made the national finals in both of those. I was a reserve national champion my sophomore year of high school. The biggest supporter of my goat tying has probably been my grandpa. He loves goat tying, loves to watch me, loves every aspect of it. But when I can have a great run and he finds something to pick apart so that I can be just a little bit faster. This is my fourth year at Tarleton and I came here right after high school. I started here as a freshman and will come back next year to get my master's. Tarleton is known as the best rodeo team in the nation and I think that most kids grow up hearing that and wanting to come here and setting it as a goal and I was lucky enough that I was able to come here my first year and stay here the whole time. The very first time I visited Tarleton and Stephenville I just fell in love and that's where I just chose to come. There are a lot of amateur rodeos to go around here. Being in Stephenville, you can go to something every night, whether it's a barrel race, a breakaway jackpot, if you team rope, you can go to a team roping jackpot. And so there's a lot to go to around here, and I go just pretty much whenever I can. It takes a lot of time management. I've been lucky enough that school comes pretty natural to me and that it's easy for me to stay caught up, but I know there's a lot of people that really struggle with it, so you just have to do your very best to be on top of all your schoolwork and be in the practice pit and then just make sure everything's turned in. And The thing I do the most is just spend a lot of time in the practice pit. We are out there every day and getting a lot of reps in just so that you can get muscle memory so once you get to the rodeo you don't have to think about it. My favorite thing about being on the team are my teammates. It doesn't matter what you're doing, if things are going good or bad. They're always there to pick you up. In high school rodeo, you didn't have that. You had your parents and your friends, but you didn't have teammates that were always there beside you, encouraging you and wishing the best for you, whether you're competing against each other or not. If you want to contact us at Tarleton Rodeo, you can call the rodeo office, 254-968-9187, and talk to the head coach, Mark Hayden.